From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, that was some good news Craig just mentioned, and we're also talking about around the area right now, temperatures that are running in the 80s for the afternoon highs. That was amazing how warm those temperatures were. In fact, to the north, it was a lot cooler, but this afternoon, 90 down in Dallas, 90 over in Little Rock. That is some serious, serious summer weather. Well, no fear. We have a cool front coming in, so we get to feel fall. We don't get a whole lot of rain with it, but uh, temperatures are definitely dropping off. We have freeze warnings up to the north in the Dakotas, uh, but we're looking at temperatures at 62 right now in Kansas City, 70 in Wichita. So it's not really that big of a deal because we're sitting at 70, uh, but you'll notice the winds will start to pick up behind this front. It's just moving right across the border right now, and then it will be making a big difference. Now, speaking of big difference, oh my goodness, the drought, and again, we're in this La Nina pattern, and it just doesn't rain a whole lot, so all the way from Seattle, Seattle back into the west and then the only places that are interesting is the Rockies and parts of New Mexico and Arizona aren't nearly as bad off as we are. In fact, we are basically between southern Kansas, western Kansas and Oklahoma. We are the worst place for drought now and it's the exceptional drought. I mean, we're at the very top in several locations, so this is a big deal. And as we look at the next 10 days of rain, who's getting the rain again? New Mexico and Arizona. Why? Because we're stuck in this similar pattern where moisture is stuck out there and we're still with relatively dry air across our region, so we don't have a whole lot of showers coming up. Man, we need some of those yellows over here. I'll take some oranges and the only yellows and oranges and reds we have right now is just because of the drought monitor. This gives you a pretty good idea how severe it is. And in fact, if you're on the northern side, you're in the most severe. It doesn't get any worse than what we're dealing with right now across northern Oklahoma, southern Kansas. And then as you look to the south, Tulsa is not good at all. Uh, and an area south and west Tulsa doesn't look quite as it says kind of severe, but I mean, it's really severe to me. Uh, and then we're just looking at horrible conditions once you get south of Tulsa from Okmulgee back down through Lake Eufaula, Pittsburgh County. So it's not going to be a beautiful fall and we just have to make sure we can get to fall without burning this state down. And we just added Chautauqua County. I got a late report that Chautauqua County does have a burn ban right now. But again, don't burn tomorrow, please. And even in areas where you can burn, the winds are going to pick up tomorrow, 15, 25 to maybe 30 miles an hour in some places and low humidity. We'll be cooler in the morning in some areas, 50s to 60s. Uh, but we're already in the 50s to 60s now with 70 in Tulsa. So it's like, uh, is it going to be any different? Well, as the winds come in out of the north, it kind of mixes it up. So they become a little bit more uniform temperatures. So it's kind of weird how it is right now, even though the front is just getting ready to come through. You'll note the difference tomorrow because of the gusty winds. It'll be dry air. And again, that's why the fire danger is very high. Any showers would stay off to the south and to the west. The winds die down on Saturday. Beautiful fall day. Very cool fall day with some clouds increasing. And if you're west of Tulsa, southwest of Tulsa, you could have a few sprinkles even into Sunday. Some of the new data is saying, hey, there could be a few sprinkles uh, in this cloud cover, especially west of Tulsa. We'll be generally in the 70s for the most part. All right, football, of course, this uh, weekend, big, big game. We got to see if OU can straighten it out here, uh, especially with such a big game down in Dallas. 73, really nice weather. Still water should be fantastic. Beautiful fall weather. Some sprinkles, though, are possible. And then we go all the way to Maryland for TU. It's going to be cool. Everybody has northeast winds. Kind of interesting. A lot of fall events coming up. Pelican Festival, Harvest Festival, Cow Chip Day. Looking forward to going that. And then, of course, we have Fall Traders Encampment and Oktoberfest up in Vanita. And Salina has Chateau Days. So a lot of fun things there. The only thing I wanted to point out here was at least there are opportunities for some showers as we go from Sunday into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. That'll be our best chance. It's not much, but it's all we got. All right, here's the forecast. Uh, we're looking at 55 in the morning, and it is going to be a bit breezy for many folks as that front starts to roll on in. And then it'll be uh, just basically windy through most of the day. Some wind gusts of over 20 miles an hour. Temperatures in the 60s instead of like in the 70s to 80 at noontime. And then we're talking about temperatures that are going to be generally 70s in the afternoon. It will be windy, though, with the northeast wind of 10 to 20 even late in the afternoon. There's that cool weather on Saturday and uh, pretty much uh, the fair uh, with the uh, temperatures in the 70s. And then here comes that rain chance. And it's headed your way, hopefully. You would love it.